Hi everybody, Jackie D. Wade, and um, I am here uh, making a video about blending. There was many, 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 many of you that <laughs> asked me questions about blending with regards to the last dresser I made. So I'm gonna attempt to do it on this dresser um, and then put it on YouTube so that you guys can have uh, somewhat of a tutorial. However, I have to uh, disclose that I am not a professional blender. I've only done it once. Uh, however, it worked out really well, so I'm just gonna do the same technique as what I did before and um, Expect the same results. So here we go uh, Just so you know, I'm using uh, three different tones of a green paint um, So I'm gonna do the darker one on the outside the medium one on the inside and then obviously the lighter one on the middle I'm actually just going to be block painting. Um, I have three different brushes um, one will be for each paint and then one will be a blending brush and I have a spray bottle of just water so that it's easier to blend because the fusion mineral paint dries really, really quick and uh, I got a very short timeline in order to do it. So without further ado, let's get started. Now I am staining the outside edges of this dresser, we have decided, so I'm just going to try and be very careful not to get it in the outside edges. However, um, I can always get rid of it later. So. This dresser is not going to be distressed, so I am going to be solid painting it. And then I'm gonna go um, through it afterwards and hand paint um, branches and birds on it, we've decided. So uh, it'll be a little bit of an art piece. I always, always, always use angled brushes. Um, it's much easier to get in the uh, nooks and crannies with an angled brush. Um, that being said, I hate flat brushes. I don't use them for anything. Um, and then when I stain, I use foam brushes so that you don't have any of those uh, uh, brush marks when you're staining, it's super important. And like I said, if I get paint on it, it's not a big deal because I'm gonna be staining over it anyways, so. And like I say, Fusion Mineral Paint is excellent and it dries really, really quickly. All I did to prep this, by the way, is just washed it. Um, I make my own organic soap, so I use my own soap. Um, it has natural oils in it, so it does strip all the stuff off the wood that I am wanting to get rid of. This dresser seemed to be in pretty good shape. However, it was really, really grubby uh, once I got into uh, cleaning it. So you want to make sure that you clean your products um, that you're going to be painting, your items rather, really, really well. Otherwise your paint uh, will have a hard time adhering to it and then you're gonna wanna blame the paint. It is not the paint, it is the um, items that you're doing. So there's the uh, general outside and um, now I'm gonna switch to my next color, which is kind of a medium tone green. And I'm just gonna be painting another square, if you will. Don't be afraid to do this. Just jump in and do it. Um, you know, give it a little bit of thought ahead of time, but otherwise, you know, just go in and do it. You want to make sure that you kind of paint in different directions just to minimize the brush lines, but you are going to be blending it after, so it's not such a big deal. And then now I'm going to go in with my third lightest color. Uh, if you don't have all these different colors of paint, um, that's fine. Uh, you can kind of make your own with uh, mixing uh, whites into your paint and then you can use the same tone and then just get different variations of it. So now that we've done that, now we can start blending, which I'll just take another dry brush and then I just do circles. You want to blend that all in there. Now, if you blend too much of the dark into the light, when I go to blend my white in the middle, that's where I'll use another brush with more light color on it.
That'll give you that nice blended technique. So mine, I want to keep really subtle because, uh, like I said, I'm going to be hand painting stuff on here. So if you want a little bit more of that light color in the middle, and you want to really have a really dramatic effect, you can add some more white to this color. But really, it's really all you need. It's just to swirl it around in the middle. And then you have different effects of depth. So that's my technique of blending. Hope you liked it.